What's going on guys, it is your boy, Flipper Boy back in with my channel. In this video, I'm doing a brief explanation of how to get better FPS in Minecraft. So let's get rest right today. Alright, so the first few things you can do to your Minecraft. Now before we start, before I get into this tutorial, as you can see, my frames are pretty high, even though I'm using pretty high p uh, settings in Minecraft. Like, as you can see, I'm using the, the I'm using high, high end um, settings in Minecraft as well. So don't expect your PC being uh, like mine. My PC is, is good. So first of all, and the video settings tab, what you do is you put on, just, I'm just gonna put on these settings fast forward for you guys, and you guys should, uh, should copy these settings down. Alrighty, as you can find to tell there's a big difference between my old settings and these settings so let me show you guys these up this best these best minecraft settings or video settings whatever you want to call them all right so video settings as simple as this is pause the video and uh, you guys can see what i have So that's pretty much all um, the settings you need to do for in-game. Now I'm gonna change the settings. Actually, no, I'll put one Scours game for you guys. And I'll show you guys what it looks like in the game in Scours. Now you guys probably know that the server's been dying lately a lot in that Pixel. Sorry if this 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 game is being laggy, but let's hope it doesn't lag as much. Yeah, as you can probably tell, the server is kind of lagging, <laughs> kind of lagging. Yeah, and I just got. What the heck has happened? I almost died to this guy. I'm not complaining. <laughs> not at all. I kill. Thank you very much. And bye you to you too. I don't know why you poisoned me. Dead anyways. Matter. I have 10 pearls. Come here, boy. I'm gonna kill you. Nobody is probably over here near. You're literally dead, bro. I have to have millions of pearls. I play, I play a game after this game with my settings on. So you guys can see how much they improve. If you guys think it's gonna be worth for you guys, or obviously it's worth it, doesn't matter. But my PC is pretty good. So let's go in the game with my old settings. Yeah, this lag is um, very fun. Now I can already see some improvement in my frames actually, or some some deep decrease. I mean, whatever, whatever you want to call it. I definitely I, I can definitely see that my frames I became worse. It's like a hundred or like 450. Nothing too crazy, of course, because I have a high, high end PC. But you don't have to worry about that. But yes, indeed, it does improve your FPS even with the, with my PC, which is really good. This server is so laggy. Look at it, dude. Just look at the server right now. Hey, can I get one hit on him? I think I did. Yeah, did I kill him? Dude, I'm not even sure what's happening right now. This server is super laggy. All right, sure. He he ran away apparently, and uh, I can't. Eat. Oh, I killed him. Sure, I I definitely deserve that. No, definitely did. Of course I did. Why does it pickaxe? That's that's a Guys, trying to sweat, it's trying to be sweat, but I'm bigger sweat, so sorry, bro. L, he said even, kind of sad to be honest with you, seeing L, saying L. Yeah, he's dead. Um, GG's, bro. <laughs> oh, he's not dead yet. GG. All right, so now we're on my PC. Let me show you guys some things you can do to improve your not in, not in game settings, just settings in general in your PC. First, let's go to my settings. Here is a game mode feature. It's basically for people that play games. Obviously, you're playing Minecraft, so you should probably put it on. I think. Oh, sorry for the. Probably. Whatever. It's okay. It doesn't matter. The in-game audio. It doesn't matter. All right. Anyways, basically, uh, it helps you for most people for frames. So I'd recommend turning it on. All right. Next step is a really important one because you don't know how much space you're actually wasting or how much how many frames you're actually losing because of this. Because people don't people people don't do this very oftenly. Uh, all you do is put the percentage, temp, percentage. That's all, and then you, pr you press the folder, and you get this folder right, let me just break it out my first monitor, right here, you just delete all of them, I've already, I've already done this yesterday, so 
so I don't need it anymore. But all you do is just you just drag. Basically, you can remove all these files. These are basically temp files, files that you don't actually need anymore. You can delete all of them. But once you do that, once you click delete on all of them, it will do for some some of them. Just click on do this for all current items and then skip. And then you should be fine. Oh wait, sorry. Try again. So yeah, skip. And you just keep doing this until it works. And then bam, it should be like no folders in here. And then what you do next, obviously, you go to recycle bin and you empty it. That way you can actually get, you can actually delete those files that you don't need. Now let's go to Nvidia Control Panel because this this one is a big one. First of all, you go to Manage 3D Settings. You go to the Global Settings right here, and you just copy down these settings I have right now. And yeah, that's all. If you don't. You probably don't have most of my settings so it doesn't matter if you just put on uh, just fix the, the settings that you have on your pc that i have and you'll be all fine Once you've got all these down, you go to adjust image settings as preview. And if you don't have used advanced 3D image settings on, please take it on and then just, oh, by the way, you have to apply. When it, once you've done these settings, you press apply. And then you do the same thing with this one. You press this one and you, you press apply right here. You press apply and then it should load for some seconds and then bam, it should be all fine. Now, another really good way to get better frames is by going to control panel, going to system and security, and then power options. Once you're there, you press high performance. So I would recommend this one, high performance for you guys, where favors performance but may use more energy. Don't worry about the more energy part. Just click on this one and you'll be completely fine. Another really important step I would recommend you guys doing is going back to control panel. Let me open it back up. Sorry if you guys close it down. You go to, I think it was system security. And then you go to system and you press the advanced settings or advanced system settings right there. You press that. You go over here. You come over here. The performance. You click on the performance or you, you, click, you press the settings next to performance. And then right here, you just press. So this one basically makes you makes your it makes it makes your, your PC look more disgusting, but it does give you better FPS or it does be, give you better performance in Minecraft, of course. It's just best for performance, best for, for, for uh, appearance. Is this is obviously for high-end PCs like mine, but I usually had just I have my own settings on that I like. So that's it. And um, yeah, and what the heck is happening to my PC right now? It doesn't matter, it just actually happens sometimes. I don't know what it is, why. Just ignore it. It'll make it black and it'll make it easy for you guys to see, actually, as well. One last thing I gotta tell you guys before and after this video is simply download a client. So I would definitely recommend any sort of client. It doesn't matter if it's a lunar client or for the background audio. Wait, I should probably fix that right now. I would recommend either getting lunar client, a badline client, uh, from the badline client, not forgotten password, of course, because. I just messing with my passwords. Badline client, PvP, launch. These are the three best clients in my opinion that you guys should download uh, to get better FPS. It's yeah, I mean I use the other client myself. I think that it gives me the best performance ever. It's giving me giving me a lot more FPS. But yeah, I would recommend downloading any of these. Any of these. I recommend another client though for best FPS uh, in general. And also if you want less mods that uh, you don't really need. And more for PvP mods if you're a PvP guy. So I re really recommend you guys getting a client. It does improve your FPS a lot. I'm not gonna do a tutorial on how and like on Optifine and all that kind of stuff because you guys are gonna download these clients because those are really good looking clients in general. So that's it, guys. Alright, everybody, that's all I have for you today. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. These are that's all the steps of to getting the best performance on your, your PC ever i think it's like literally giving your pc a whole new level of performance and i hope this helped this video helped you if it did help you i would really appreciate giving this video a like and maybe even subscribe to the channel i'm trying to reach 1k i'm really close to 800 subscribers we probably will hit it before this video is up because i'm up i'm up this video like a couple days after my latest video which is the whatever yes you guys probably don't care anyways <laughs> thank you guys for watching this video i really appreciate you guys staying to the end if you did say to the end then that means that you guys like this video and um, obviously follow the steps to getting better FPS video. So again, leave a like and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out.